Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to finish the Ten Pan Bluff Fort build. Let's get building! So wow, it's I've had so many building projects running just lately. It's um, It's been a while since we've been at Fort Bluff here and um, dug me in the way as usual. So um, today I'm going to finish off, I'm going to build a quick general store here in this little area right there. Uh, and then I'll uh, work on doing a final tour video for you, which will be a separate video from this one. So, um, finally done here. So here we go. The, the foundation is basically a combination of uh, some floors you get in cabin in the woods. And there's also this nice little um, surround piece, uh, which is this kind of stone surround. So, to do this I have to take all this work that I've already done and get rid of it but then uh, you know then I will build rebuild the walkway up and incorporate the walkway as part of this building so these floors like I said they're like parkour floors are in in the um, in the mod and this is a pretty standard build there's not a heck of a lot to this you would have seen me do this several times before but and I had and I had built this quite a while ago and I was a bit reluctant to throw it up because it really is just rinse and repeat so what we're going to do is we're going to speed this build up fairly significantly and um, because I'm sure you've seen this before so essentially this is a, a pretty simple structure you can build it however you like I mean the definitely the um, settlement needed a general store and I've tried to keep it in keeping with the the overall theme of the settlement uh, given that real western style oh okay um that real western style look to it this is a great mod I've had a lot of fun using this mod and as you would have seen by uh, the video I recently posted on sea hats I've also um, expanded on it and used it in other places so it's it's a great mod give it a try i've noticed a lot of people um, a lot of people have been using this mod just lately for their settlement builds and i think you know it does have a different look but i think at the same time it, it does have a limitation to it and it, it's it has been a challenge to come up with um, ways of using this mod and making the buildings look different so i think the saloon building is a case in point where I I was very very happy with the way the salon came out but it was a little bit of a challenge just to use the um, use the same mod and try and make the building look you know as though it fitted into the, the settlement but also was a, a little bit different so this fights me a little bit uh, as much as just making sure I can get back up onto the the roofing and you utilize that guard tower that's off to the right at the moment so i thought i'd, I'd leave this in a little and, and show you the struggle um, that i have to do this you know it's this is the this is the the big thing about building in fallout you're always troubleshooting um, and trying to find the best way of building things luckily for me etheron's done a very good job at with this this mod this specific mod and so it, you know, it it hasn't been without its challenges this um, settlement but it certainly um, hasn't been as difficult as other things that I've built so it, it, it you know it's it's always good um, when things go your way <laughs> it's not always the case and you know when you get always when you get a new mod and you're playing with a new mod it's always a process to learn that mod and uh, understand how all the different elements fit together nicely so the roofs pinned down for now and it's just a case of now adding elements to this what is I guess just a, a box at this point adding elements to this to make it look like a general store from days of old I guess we'll put the windows in for now and um, but we need to do something more with this to make it look a little bit more authentic I think and um, I'm just 
that you can see I'm still finding pieces uh, in this mod to see uh, if it would add to the overall look of the uh, the building so this is a chimney you can get I don't know that I don't think I end up keeping this always when you're building you kind of add these things in see if they work if they don't get rid of them and move on so this is basically what we do here we just move on so one of the real benefits to having Etheron's other mods is they all interact and all clip to each other so you can see I'm in vanilla extensions in the barn tab now and yeah, these railings certainly just seem to work in this space and I think they're better than what cabins in the woods were offering so this is what I decide to go with and I'm pretty happy with these they're the again you know I've, I've now <laughs> downloaded probably most of those mods that Ethron has um, in his arsenal and so I like to mix and match them now and it's maybe maybe something that you can consider doing with your own builds is you know just to mix it up and, and give it a, a, at least a different look or you know a look that you like um, some of some of the mods I've played with at this point, some of the mo mods I've downloaded and haven't started with yet. So, um, it's very I think it's very settlement dependent as well, and depends on what you're building. So, this is fighting me a little bit, but that's okay. It, it, and then it goes green for some unknown reason. After all that, but never mind. So, I have built several other things in this settlement. But I haven't. I really haven't, and I have recorded them. But I'm. I'm not. I'm pretty much not going to put the. The videos up. You will see in the final two. What the, those are. But the um, there's really no value in, in throwing those up on the channel because it really isn't going to show you anything that's different or the, any techniques that are are different. I, I have thrown this up because I think it it does have a, a certain look about it. And I, you know, I think it will give you an idea, possibly for your own settlements. I had a general list when I when I started the settlement of elements that I wanted to add into into the settlement, and the general store makes a lot of sense. And so, you know, I think it's important to have one in and to show you my at least my twist on putting the general store in. It's been, like I said, it, it has been a really enjoyable build here. It, it was certainly something different. And um, I think given the response, a lot of people have enjoyed this this build. There, are, there, were, there was a number of things, other things that I would have liked to have done with this settlement, but it's just, you know, I, I seem to have run out. Seem to have run out of space for some reason. But this general store is a pretty nice, quick little build and uh, it's one of the reasons that i've started an, a new segment on the channel called quick builds and quick builds is all about um you know giving you ideas for your settlements but things that you can build in say five to seven minutes and then the decoration maybe another 10 minutes of decoration but you know small little builds small little elements for your settlement that you can add so if you haven't checked those out please go and check those out if it interests you and uh, you might find something that that you like so just to, so you're not confused um, I was trying some other elements on this roof just to see if I could make use of some other kind of materials but again I went back to my original idea so that sometimes happens so looking pretty good so far I think I'm pretty happy with that that looks pretty authentic and what you would expect, I guess. And um, I think all we do, we need to do now, is is put some posts on, and then figure out the steps and and decorate. So uh, we're going to put some signs on, obviously. And I use the sign. I use the signs for better stores. So we're going to whack these signs on, and we'll get decorating. I'm not going to show you the decoration because I'll probably add another ten minutes to the video. And uh, you'll see it in the final tour anyway. And you can, I think decoration is something that's very personal anyway. 
So actually we have to jump up onto the top of the roof here to get this sign to, to stick, but that's okay. Pretty easy. So there we go. We'll put a small sign on the door and then we'll cut, cut to the final tour. So quick little build this one. Didn't, didn't take that long. Pretty standard little build, but again, as I said, it's, it was pretty necessary for the settlement and just to finish the settlement off. So you just got to watch with these logs that you get it in the right spot because sometimes it'll clip through and you can't see it like it did then. So there we go. So here's the final build. You can see I've added some posts in there and um, I've added some railings up top and, and figured out how to, to get the walkway to work above. So let's go and have a look. A nice bench for people to sit down and just relax if they need to. And yeah, I've kept it fairly basic in here. There's a canter. These canters from um, Do It Yourself shelf, you can actually put stuff in front of, which is good. Uh, creative clutter and whatnot. And Do It Yourself pretty much for, for all this quick decorating things. So we'll run up onto the roof and just show you how the, I worked on the walkway but we get a bit distracted by the fact that we've moved the windmill and I'm actually going to build something in there and you'll see I'll, I'll work on the final tour video um, this week and hopefully that'll be up on the channel next couple couple of weeks so I went with a small ladder to get up here and just put the railings and put those uh, floor planks across here and we're, we're back up and running so thanks for watching guys as ever, it's been a pleasure, we'll catch you next time.